Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server avatar or bucket spigot plug in tour. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in Jibbles below. I'll give you a shout out when I get around to it. Now this week is actually a recap of the first ever tutorial video that I ever made. And it's WorldGuard because WorldGuard is a fantastic plugin that's like the bedrock of everything. It's made by SK89Q. I'm sure that's a word, but I don't know what what it is and it does kind of require world edit at the same time fortunately they've both been updated back in november for 1.11 so it should be good to go now this is the bedrock a lot of plugins rely on it it's a fantastic plugin i'm going to give you the quickest tutorial i can on how this works it's not going to be everything so i might do it a follow-up advanced tutorial but here we go first off you need to do slash slash wand in order to get the wand to define your regions so the way this plugin works is you define regions like like squares or cuboids and then you can modify the permissions in there you can give access to certain people so the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here left click upper right corner of the cuboid right click is going to tell you the coordinates of what you've actually selected so once that is selected and defined so we can do region define a and there we go it's up and running so what this means actually is that and i come over and try to edit anything in this region i cannot i can edit stuff outside of it but not inside of it i can't access the chest or anything like that which is pretty fantastic. So that's basically the, the gist of how that works. Now let's get into how you can actually use it on your server. A couple other things you can do region info on the info or blah, blah, on the region name, and then you can do region list to see all the, the regions that are available. Now, if you're using another plugin like use Skyblock or something along those lines, you might see a lot of regions on here because that plugin uses World Guard to define regions to protect. Um, you can then also even select an area. So let's say we're going to select this a smaller area. You can do region redefine A. So now A is going to be that region over there. So you can do, um, you can actually do region info and it'll just check the spot that you're standing. So if you're not sure if that's a region or not, you can just do that and it'll show you which region that is. So there is a global region by default, which is kind of good to know if you want to set PVP off for the entire world or something like that. If you want to use world guard to block that kind of stuff, which is really cool. And it is double underscore global double underscore as you saw on that. Otherwise you can do info and it's going to show you that region A. So likely you're going to have overlapping regions, especially if you're using a prison setup or a mall setup or something like that, you're going to have overlapping regions. So what we want to do is we're going to overlap a region which is fine to overlap regions but the plugin will actually check the priority of the region so we do region define b now if we do region info here it's going to say b if we do region info here it's going to say there's multiple regions and they're all the same priority so what we want to do is we want to set region a to be a higher priority so that if you're standing in that region that region is defined so if we do region set priority a and then one it can be zero to like two hundred thousand or something like that or negative so if you want the whole if you want to set a giant region like your prison or whatever you can set the, that region to be a negative one then every region you define it you don't have to set the priority to it because automatically it's zero which is a higher priority than that region so we're going to set that to one you can do region info a you can see that priority is now one so now the settings of that region will take precedence over everything around it so if we want to do re if we want to change something inside that region so region which the specific settings in each region are called flags so pvp chest access build all that stuff is called a flag so we're going to do region flag region name chest access allow now you can see we still can't break anything in here but we're able to uh, to access that chest which is the main thing that we changed now if we had a chest out here we wouldn't be able to access that because there's a region there now we're going to take this a little bit further we want to allow people to to modify in that region while not modifying stuff outside that region so now if we do region flag a build allow 
Now that's going to make it so people can modify everything inside that region. So if that is your mine, you can select the top layer of that mine and the bottom layer of that mine. Then they're able to modify everything inside of that. So now that we have not, but we can't go further. Oh, wait, that's not a region below it. But uh, we can't modify outside the region, but inside here, it is allowed. Let's say you don't want everybody to make it inside that region. So I have a tutorial group created. So we want to do region add. Uh, first of all, we want to deny entry to that. So we want to do flag, flag a deny, or you want to do entry deny. So now nobody can make it into there. So that, but then we want to set it so some people can. So what we want to do is we want to add a member to that region. A member means that they have access to that region, inside that region, everything inside of it. So we can do region, add member, region A, and then we want to specify that it's a group that we're defining, not a specific user. And then the group tutorial. Now we're not in this group, so we're going to go ahead and de-op ourselves again. And now you can see we're not able to even enter it unless we go in and go PEX user group. We're just going to set it to tutorial. Now we're in that tutorial group. So now we're able to enter in here. We can do everything that we want inside this region. And that is how you get a prison mine set up or a prison area set up. Like I said, there's a whole lot more that this plugin can do. A flag list of all the stuff that you can modify inside of each region is very long. It's there, you can block commands, you can block um, pass through, you could do um, chest access, ender access. There's some other plugins that will tie into World Guard so that you can like block flying in certain regions. You can modify lava, fire spread, all that stuff. You can even go into the configurations and modify it like creeper explosions, all that stuff. Like I said, the plugin is fantastic and hopefully this gets you up and running, especially running a prison server, any kind of server that has overlapping regions. If you have overlapping regions, you can actually set a parent region which will inherit any properties. So if you have a lot of properties that you wanna set um, for a lot of different regions, you can actually inherit them if you go ahead and run the command that you see on the screen. Region set parent, and then the child region, and then the parent region. And then if you wanna remove that inheritance, you just, uh, run the same command, but don't run the parent setting in there. It's completely optional. Then that will break that relationship and that, that child region will not inherit anymore. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Uh -oh.